We've been having several lovely days, full of sun and brisk cold air, and when I looked out my window this morning, I was greeted with the sight of the Mix Hawk, which is our neighborhood hawk. We call them Mix because we don't know whether it is male or female, and might as well go with a genderless term. And it was so pretty that I decided that I wanted to paint it for my morning practice. Other than me throwing down some quick splashes of color on some of my story practices and thoughts, I haven't really seriously painted a lot. And that kind of makes me sad because painting is one of my favorite things to do uh, when it comes to creating art. I've been working digitally a lot uh, because that's the nature of a lot of the jobs that I've been able to get to help bring in some income and stabilize me. Plus animation is one of those jobs that you does kind of require you to be online and be on the computer a lot to get things done. So being able to take this time in the morning to paint out all of the different fall colors that I saw out my window was really nice. This only took me about 45 minutes, which is a little longer than my morning practice usually takes me. I usually only spend about 30 minutes, uh, maybe a little less when I am doing the ink work. And that's because I tend to separate out when I'm doing line work and when I'm doing ink work, I don't do them together to make sure that I'm keeping my time down in the morning. So that way I can immediately jump into whatever work I need to do for that day with a focused and clear mind. One of the things that I focused on when I was working on this piece was getting the texture down for the leaves. That can often be hard to do if you focus in on doing it with a round brush and try and get the individual spaces uh, by, pi uh, by painting in like tiny little detail. Uh, so that's why I kind of uh, put a little divot in the brush to get these unique kind of like flares to create the leaves. I could have taken time to find my uh, fan brush, but I didn't want to lose the energy of the moment of this kind of inspiration of seeing uh, this gorgeous sight outside my window. One of the things that I love about my neighborhood hawk is that mix tends to land on top of my roof and likes to survey the land and it's I've been able to catch them a couple of times through my window but my windows aren't very clean so I haven't really been able to share those pictures it kind of makes it look dusty and snowy and uh, in some cases gross and that's what makes me being able to catch the hawk on video after seeing it outside my window and dashing outside as quickly and quietly as possible so much more special is that I was able to catch them at such a beautiful moment. Hawks are known for being guardians. Specifically, they're good to know and understand for being guiding visions. They're usually spirit visions or uh, guardianship surrounding you. They uh, represent patience and observation. They are a great way of making sure that you're aligning with your path to make sure that the signs and opportunities that you're working with now are clear and that you will know those opportunities when you see them and to jump on them. So I like to uh, think about that when I am, uh, when I see them out in the wild, when I usually don't see them around a particular area. Now Mix Hawk, I actually see quite often in uh, my little uh, forested area here in the suburbs. And that is uh, just one of those really nice things. Also, I use a book called The Animal Speak Pocket Guide 
by Ted Andrews, I tend to find it a very good insight on what some creatures might be saying, or just to give me some more thoughts on what those creatures represent. Thanks so much for sticking around as I paint today. And I hope that you too are able to take a moment and marvel at nature. <laughs>